This is where we open up the show to a new voice besides mine. Today we're hearing from my good friend, Craig Hoffman, who you may know from his acclaimed radio show. We saw a slew of wild clothing and apparel stories. I needed to get his opinion. Take a look. High fashion and clothing troll Balenciaga has come out with another wild item. They debuted the trash pouch at Paris Fashion Week. It looks exactly like a hefty brand trash bag, but it actually gets worse because they're planning to sell it for $1,790. What is this madness? I think you said it in the intro. Like, it's, it's a fashion troll. It's, it's seeing if someone will just go, yeah, I want it because it's got that fancy name on it. I, I, I don't really have a lot for you on this one, Reese. This one broke my brain a little bit. $1,700 for a trash bag. Is it reusable? Or are you just like, I took the trash out before I came on the show. If I threw $1,700 down the trash chute, uh, my fiance that I'm getting married to in, in less than 20 days would not marry me in 20 days. And, and she'd be right in that. Now, they previously had other wild products like a blue Ikea-looking bag for $2,100, beat-up sneakers for $1,800, and my personal favorite, Crocs with heels for about $900. If you had to wear or use one of these, which would they be? Oh, no. Oh. Do I have to? I, I know mean... I'm, like, killing the premise of the game, but, like... Well, as a personal trainer, I feel Ugh. like the low-hanging fruit for you would be the beat-up sneakers. It just kind of shows get, that you're putting I guess, in work. You know? I guess, like, beat-up sneakers, if they're made by Balenciaga, they're probably still pretty nicely made. Like, at least I can get some wear out of those. I mean, part of me is, like, the, the trash bag, and then I'm just going to use it as, like, a suitcase or something. Like, yeah, take that, airlines. You guys are they're putting all kinds of restrictions and rules, and flights are getting canceled. Take, take care of my $1,700 trash bag with all my stuff in it. Running shoe company Zaccone is releasing an innovative three-in-one shoe. They call it the butterfly. It can be worn like a running shoe, or you can take out the inner lining and wear it as a slipper, or wear the outer layer as some sort of croc-looking thing. No price has been announced yet. I know you're into fitness. Are you into this? I just, I don't get it. I like, first of all, I want to hate this way more than I do. Like it's, it's not as hideous looking or as dumb as I want it to be. Mm -hmm. But I also don't get why the combo, like I get the one shoe, I get the other. Why do you, like, what's the, the situation, the scenario where you're wearing the two in one, three in one. That's, that's what I can't figure out. Would you rather wear these? or the convertible cargo pants where you unzip the bottom half of the leg and they turn into shorts? I feel like I'd probably go for the shoes. I feel like cargo pants were like, there was a hard line in the sand somewhere in the early aughts that, that after that they're not allowed anymore unless you're like a cargo type of person. Like if you're, if you're someone who uses tools and you need cargo situations, sh sure, I guess. I am a personal trainer and a radio host. Uh, I, I don't use tools, so I, I think I'll just go with the shoes. See, I am a, a, a strong supporter and proponent, an activist, if you will, of the cargo pant. Because wow. when, when we were children, Craig, they gave us the fanny pack, okay? They allowed us to put rocks and, and army men and transformers and whatever we wanted into the fanny pack. And then they just took the fanny pack away. They just decided, you know what, this is no longer socially acceptable. However, in my teens, we came with the cargo pants. So now all of a sudden I can put like a little spare lotion, a couple of napkins, uh, some money, uh, whatever, uh, baseball cards, whatever I want. I could just put right there in the cargo pant uh, and maybe something in case things went really well for me later on in the evening. Uh, you know, I, I had everything I needed in the cargo pant. All of a sudden we took that away. Now that's not socially acceptable. Now I'm back to walking around with a plastic bag. I will n I'm not going to lie to you, Reese. As a kid, like as a teenager, I also definitely had cargo pants. I'm not telling you never in the history of Craig Hoffman's life. Also, if I ever refer to myself in the third person again, please don't have me back on the show. Mm. Uh, but it, it, never have I worn them. No, of course not. But Reese, the hip thing now, you got to get a cross body bag. That's where it's at. We encourage all third-person references, by the way. We support it. And, uh, Craig and Hoffman approves that. Bring back the cargo pant. Bring back the cargo pant. First of all, shout out to Balenciaga for giving us the croc with the heel, which remains one of my favorite photos ever. Shame on society for taking away my fanny pack 
and then taken away my cargo pants. You've left me no choice than to carry my things other than the bribe, a male purse. But now I have a pro tip for you. Ross, what do you think if you're meeting up with some buddies and one of them shows up with a plastic bag? What do you think? You think he just hit CVS on the way down to meet you, don't you? Well, guess what? Nah, I left from home and I put all of my necessities in the plastic bag. But everybody else thinks I just went shopping. You're welcome. You can show up to dates like that. She'll think, oh, man, he got something. Funny. Maybe he got a little refreshed. Nah, nah, nah. This is all my lotion in my wallet and whatnot. But you'll learn that if we continue to date. It worked for me. Now, if you want to hear more from Craig, you can catch him from 3 to 6 every day on Team 980. And by the way, he hosts a fitness podcast called Train With The Best. You can check it out on your favorite podcasting platform. Also, these plastic bags I speak of, literally everywhere.